because this is a big white rhino. Now, actually, the reason his skin color is white is because of the mud he's been running around in. All rhinos are gray. The reason they call white rhinoceros is when Dutch settlers came here, they called them Weitmont rhinoceros, which means wide mouthed rhinoceros. Because the other name for white rhino is square lipped rhinoceros. When English settlers came here, they basically just took the name wide. And just cut it down straight to white. So the name stuck ever since. You see, he's actually listening to us now. Yeah. He's look at that. Can you see his ears actually swivel? They can swivel to the direction of whatever sound he's listening to. So you can listen to us, listen to something else at the same time. See that? Just in that little connection there between the head and the ear, there's so 300 muscles just there. Crazy. This is a nice big white rhino. Right now these guys. They are virtually blind. They can only see about 14 to 15 meters in front of them. So he can't actually see us at the moment. He knows we're here because he can smelt us and he can hear us. is about three to four centimeters thick in some areas. It's not quite elephants, which is about six centimeters, but they are literally wearing a suit of armor. So he's in a single mode mission. He's just gonna yeah. go have a nice quiet drink. And with these guys, See how he's been rolling in the mud. Most of the animals without fur will roll in the mud simply because it gets rid of parasites. If he rolls in the mud and he's got ticks on him, all those ticks will die due to lack of oxygen. Then he'll go over to like a branch or a rock or a stump, whatever he can find, and rub off the ticks and the mud. And also, it feels nice for them, you know, it's a nice cooling down system as well. So they drink more than once a day? Yeah, absolutely. Right Rhino will typically drink about three, four times a day. You can see how he sucks up the water rather than lapping it up like a cat or a dog. He mm. actually sucks it up. Uh, and Do you see South Africa is going through a bit of a drought at the moment? Um, this is much, much better than what it was. Uh, we almost ran completely out of water at one point, and we had a ma massive flash of rain. And it basically just opened everything up. So it's nice and... It's got a good, good amount of water in it at the moment, but it's not enough. But we never do run out of water for the animals. And each of those horns can weigh up to 25 kilograms, so it's a very, very heavy thing to carry around. So the right rhinoceros has those massive shoulders to carry the head low down to the ground so that they can graze. And this is the oldest animal, well, this is the oldest mammal in the world. They've yeah. literally gone pretty much unchanged since the Ice Age. The only thing that's really happened to them is that they've lost their, hip, their fur. So of course, they used to be the woolly rhinoceros, which was covered in fur and a little bit bigger than these guys. It's a big female with a young calf. Now, with white rhinoceros, the calf will stay with mom for up to four years. Um, if it's a little female, then she'll actually stay with her mom for up to six, seven years, just to socially interact. White rhinoceros are the only social species of rhino in the entire world. Black rhino are much more commonly found exclusively alone, or solitary is the technical term for it. Now, with white rhinos, if you're even in thick bush like this, for whatever reason you may be in thick bush, Look at the back. Can you see there's a big shoulders, there's a vertebra, and then there's a big rump. Yep. That is how you tell it's a white rhino. If it's just a saddle, so shoulders and then a back, you must leave the area because that's a black rhino. Black rhino generally are much more aggressive than white rhino. We have no reason for it. We have no idea why. Um, I always say it's they've got short man syndrome because they're much <laughs> smaller than white rhinos.